And on today's episode, we head to Atlanta to pick up a Savannah load. Stick around and find out if we get it on or we miss a delivery. Let's start the video. Detroit Lions was surgical with that offense in the first half, but that second half, man, they they just pooped the bed, man. I don't know, man. Them 49ers ain't nothing to mess with, man. I'm rolling with 49ers in the Super Bowl, so, you know, call me crazy, but that's who I'm going with. But, hey, we'll see, man. I may change it to Kansas City. But let's get to the plan and check in. This is what I was talking about right here, guys. When you come into cities like Atlanta, man, these big cities, you're going to go through these small neighborhood roads where you got to know where you're going. Otherwise, you're going to get stuck, man. The first time I came to this plant, I, I was stuck, man. I, I made a left on one of these residential streets tripping. And uh, at like probably like two or three months after I started coming here, the city put up signs. It's like, hey, trucks this way to cement plant. Like the city started guiding us with signs. But when I initially started coming here, man, Dudes were getting stuck. I don't know why the city didn't have them signs up earlier, but it's crazy, man. But this is the stuff you got to go through. Oh, man, they got cops and stuff out here. They always doing some construction on this road, man. But, hey, that's what we doing. So let's see if we can turn. Can we turn here? Can we turn? Alright guys, we got a mix load today. We gotta do all these, so you gotta make sure they put all these products on there. Mm-hmm. 44,100. So we're gonna just do a front tarp on these. He got the loose plastic. I could have ran no tarp, but with that plastic, I don't wanna rip it. So let's get this on and get up out of here. Alright, we got the load on. Let's get this thing tarp and get up out of here. One, two, three. <laughs> Just like that, we tart. All right, man, let's get down the road and get up out of Atlanta. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, we're coming up on the customer. We finally made it to Brooklyn, Georgia, right outside of Savannah. We're going to get this off, and then we're going to head back up out of here about two hours and see how far we can get.
All right, let's get unloaded. All right, YouTube, we got empty. I was moving so fast I didn't record. We about to go shut down. Uh, probably get about an hour and a half, two hours down the road, then we gonna do a company review. So let's get on the highway and shut down safely. All right, YouTube, we back with another video, man. We are in Macon, Georgia, y'all. We just, we went to Atlanta today. Picked up a load, run that, to, we ran that to Brooklyn, Georgia, and only had enough time to get back to like Macon. Um, we're gonna go back to Atlanta in the morning to pick up a Monroe, or I mean a West Monroe uh, job going to one of our repeat customers. And then from there, I'm either gonna shut down the Shreveport or shut down somewhere in Texas tomorrow evening. <laughs> Cause I gotta pick up a load in Waco Wednesday to take uh back near the house to deliver because i'm i'm done working uh thursday at 12 i got to put the truck in the shop so i gave myself a cutoff time 12 noon thursday um but real quick man uh i wanted to come on here and i wanted to figure out um you guys opinion man uh you guys been liking the company reviews lately <coughs> I had somebody ask me, like, in the comments, they were like, hey, man, what about doing, like, warehouse jobs or regular jobs or government jobs that, that you know, as truck drivers and stuff? So if y'all drop a comment below, if you want me to just to do trucking jobs or you want me to do stuff around the transportation industry and or just regular jobs in general, y'all let me know. But today, man, we're going to be reviewing one of the ones that a lot of people ask me. This, this company is in every city in America. So no matter where you at, you can go check it out. Um, today we're gonna be reviewing waste management. Now, I've been hearing a lot of stuff, not because of Drake and Future video, but I've been hearing like, man, trash man getting money now, the sanitation workers getting money now. So I wanted to get on the website and debunk it and see what was going on with waste management and the sanitation workers. So I'm gonna get the all my stuff lined up. I'm gonna put the screen recording right here and we're going to get into it. So let's check it out. All right, guys, let's get the screen recording picked up right here, man. Give me a second. Let me get it posted up. All right, man, the website is WM.com. Whiskey Mike, WM.com. Simple, no matter where you're at. That's the website. They're pretty much a government entity, but they're not, but they are. So WM.com is the website. And on here, man, their goal is reimagining a circular economy for tomorrow. Uh, we celebrate what's possible by investing in recycling and waste solutions that help fuel the continuous re reuse of materials. Now, if you go to the career page, which is oraclecloud.com, if you just click careers off the main page, you get to this type of website. We are so much more than managing waste. Uh, it's our desire to go above and beyond for our customers in each day, in and out. Focus on people, service, and sustainability. WM is doing things the right way so we can share in a better tomorrow. Let's, let's check out what the CEO has to say. I would like for my legacy to be that I helped make this a great place to work. I also know that the service that we're providing that I have a little piece in is a really important service for the environment, for our communities, for our customers. My name is Jim Fish, President and CEO of WM, and I've been with the company 22 years. So most people kind of think of sustainability as being purely an environmental term, and a big piece of it is environmental for us. We're, we're growing uh, our renewable natural gas business, which is really just a byproduct of, of these landfills, and we're turning that gas into pipeline quality gas. So that's the environmental piece of sustainability, but there's there's also a social aspect to it. Some of it is about diversity and inclusion. Uh, honestly, in order for us to be a sustainable, long-term, great business, diversity and inclusion has to be a part of that. So that excites me that I get up and I and I have a, a at least a, a you know a fighting chance to make it a great place to work for for our people, for our 50,000 folks, and for their families. That's what drives me. Sounds pretty legit from the uh, CEO. All right, let's check out the total rewards for the total you. Let's see what they're talking about. 
They offer medical, dental, vision, and flexible spending accounts, also known as FSAs. You get paid time off, paid holidays, FMLA, bereavement leave, somebody in your family class. God bless the dead. Plan for the future. Now, check this out. This is pretty legit with, w, with waste management. 100% degree tuition coverage for employees and eligible dependents for 175 plus programs through Waste Management's Your Tomorrow program. So they will pay for you to go to scholarship. I mean, not scholarship, uh, scholarship to go to college. This is all legit. Company match 401k, stock purchase plan, no cost legal services, free financial planning services, career growth opportunities, student loan financing. They also offer free to the employee basic and dependent life insurance, short-term, long-term, boot and tool allowance, uniform service, critical illness coverage, industry leading training, employee family assistance program. Also, value added benefit. They have backup child care and elderly care for your elderly parents, adoption assistance, scholarships for children, employee discount program, be well bucks and a recognition program. So pretty much, man, if you can think of it, waste management got it. They damn near like the military. Anything you need or want, they got it. They, there's nowhere that they can't reach out and touch at waste management. So let's get into the career job. Let's just start picking jobs, guys. Now, these are random places. I'm not doing nothing to my area or the next man area. I'm just picking jobs, man. If we can see the wages, we're going to get into it. So let's check out CDL now. You go to find jobs, you just do driver or collections. Just type in driver, all the driver jobs pop up. Let's go to, let's do CDL driver roll off. That's the roll off dump. They start out at $25 an hour, guys. You And you work Tuesday through Saturday, off Sunday and Monday. You start at 4 a.m., which means you're probably done by 12, 1 o'clock. Check it out, guys. You must have, well, no, it's preferred. So you don't need experience. It's preferred to have one year. Let's check out CDL truck driver roll off in Indianapolis. Um, this is the class B job. They want one year experience. Let's see how much this pays. Uh, they didn't put it on that one, but they are hiring. Again, don't just look at the money here. Let's see all the places that are hiring as well. So if you live in the areas, just call and hit them up, man. Let's check out CDL Truck Driver, Northfield, Minnesota. This is another Class B job. Uh, hiring. They didn't put the pay on here either. That's weird. Let's check out uh, CDL Truck Driver Commercial. Okay, man, they got a lot of jobs, guys. Okay, this role right here pays $21 to $24 an hour starting pay. The specific salary is offered to a candidate who may be influenced by a variety of factors, experience, education, training, certification, and work, loca and work location or your route. So check it out, man. They got jobs for this. Check out Meridian. No, let's do Fairborn, Ohio. Man, they got jobs everywhere, man. Anywhere you live at, it look like they got a job. They hiring in Fort Worth, Texas, Richmond, Virginia, Bismack, North Dakota, driver, tractor, trailer, San Antonio, $25 an hour. It looks like the norm when we starting out. So this here is Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. So that's at least 10 hours of overtime every week. So that's... 10 hours a day for five days, that's 50 hours. Sometimes Saturdays, uh, you must have four years of manual driving experience and one year of four lift required. They pay you 25 an hour for four years experience. Okay, let's check out Antioch, Tennessee. Uh, you don't need no experience, no prior work experience re required. So, so far, I found jobs that were higher with no experience and the average wage is 25 an hour. So I will be labeling this 
Why waste management is hiring CDL drivers with no experience everywhere in America. That's going to be the headline for people to see these jobs. Man, let's check it out. Man, they got everywhere on here, man. Let's look at Bennington, Nebraska. I think that's Nebraska, N-E. Somebody drop a comment below. What does N-E mean? I don't know. Two, another Class B. No prior work experience required. Oh, man. You must be... The CDL is a requirement. Therefore, you must be 18 years of age. So, if you're under 21... You can go work for waste management under 18 with no, I mean, under 21 years old with no experience. So this, this not got the key points. Starting pay is around $25 an hour. No experience required. Can hire under 21 years old. All you have to be, all you have to do is be 18 years old with a CDL. No experience required. $25 an hour. Multiple locations across the U.S. Fact check me. It's on the website. We're looking at it together. Let's do Chesapeake, Virginia. I'm not making this up, guys. Y'all say I be cap. Again, 18 years of age, no experience required. All you need is a class B CDL. No class A required. But you know how I am. I tell everybody, go get your class A. If you can, get it done. You ain't got to go back. They got automatic manual trucks. They got all type of stuff, man. Wow. Man, I didn't know it was this deep. This dude, Key West, Florida. 18 years of age, class B, no, no experience required. Man, to all the people in the comments asking me to do reviews on companies that hire under 21 years old with no experience, here's a big monster one right here. Check it out. So this dude, Winston-Salem, North Carolina. This job pays between... 16 to 22 dollars an hour monday through friday 5 a.m start time 18 years old in class b cdl no prior work experience required you want to be home every day and you ain't got no experience man listen boy hey waste management not playing with y'all now let's check out clearwater florida man it's legit it is legit. Man, I'm not making this up, guys. I'm showing y'all in real time. Uh, let's do West Boston, Massachusetts. Class B, 18 years older, man. So pretty much, that's the norm, man. Y'all looking at it in real time, guys. These are all active jobs posted as of Jane. What does it say? January 2024. This ain't no old stuff. Boynton Beach, Florida. Man. 18 years or older, guys. Oceanside, California. This rate pay starts at $30 an hour. It's California, so $30 an hour is like $20 an hour. So take it with a grain of salt, man. Can't lie, guys. Lake Charles, Louisiana. So, so far, I've seen starting pay starting at up that $30 an hour, not $25. So, at least 18 years of age, no experience required. Starting pay is between, starting pay is up to $30 an hour. I ain't got time to do all the numbers. We're going to do up to $30 an hour. Man, I've seen enough, man. Waste management is travel trucker approved, guys. I don't know what else to tell y'all. Listen, when you coming in this game and you ain't got no experience, you can't be too picky. I would highly recommend getting your feet wet than going specialty. Tanker, heavy haul, specialized flatbed, some food service, you know, LTL. But you got to get that experience somewhere, guys. This is CDL experience that you would need. They have driver logs. They have Class A jobs. They have Class B jobs, mostly Class B jobs. Um, so if you're under 21 years old, you got your CDL, you can't find a way to work, waste management is hiring in every corner of America. If I'm lying, I'm flying. I sold you in real time.
You can you can start you can make up to thirty dollars an hour with no experience. So that's all, man. I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. I'm gonna drop another banger tomorrow. I ain't even gonna tell you what that one is, but this one right here is gonna drop as soon as I finish it, and that's gonna be it, man. But I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. Waste Management WM.com. Make sure y'all check it out, man. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, man. And Travel Trucker gonna see y'all on the next adventure. Peace.